Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. There are some steps to convert console application to web API project. This is the first step. First, we need to make changes in CS project file. We need to change SDK in CS project file. Then we need to remove the output type. Then we need to verify the target framework moniker. Now go to Visual Studio. Let's open CS project file. To open CS project file, uh, double click on project name here. Now uh, we have uh, CS project file. Your SDK is Microsoft.NET.SDK. Output type is EXE. Target framework is 5.0. Let's see some more details about this project. In Solution Explorer, expand this dependencies. Your expand analyzers. Here we have only two packages. Then expand frameworks. See here, uh, we have only one framework. The framework name is Microsoft.NET Code.App. Since we are dealing with Web API application, let's make changes here. SDK.Web. This is the first step. This is no longer console application, so we don't want this output in exe format. So let's remove it from here. Now we have to focus on target framework. Target framework means which framework you want to use in your application. Now, uh, if you are using target framework uh, older version, um, you can change this to .NET Core 5.0 or above. We have to use moniker of .NET Core 5.0 here. Okay, so already I have .NET 5.0, so I didn't change anything here. If you are using older version, you can modify this to 5.0 or above. Before I save this, see here. In framework, we have only one framework. Um, inside this uh, analyzer, we have only two analyzer. See the symbol here, console app. Okay, now let's save this. Now see here, uh, changes are happening in this application. Uh, inside this framework, uh, we have added one more framework. The framework name is uh, Microsoft.ASPNetCore.App. Before that, we have only one framework. Inside this analyzer, before that, we have only two uh, packages. Now we have five. Remember, the web API will work on ASP Netcore uh, framework. That's why uh, we are using this framework. Now, click on this reload projects here. Now you can see the symbol of this application has been changed. Now it is a web application. Now expand dependencies. Again, analyzer. We have five packages. Inside this framework, we have two packages. Okay, in uh, in the framework, we have all the packages of ASP.NET Core framework. We have uh, one more folder here that is a uh, properties. Inside this folder we have launch settings.json file this file has all the properties that are required to run this application in the development environment um, thank you so much for watching this video see you there in next video